Okay, and so the next thing that I'm going to do is work on that uh, painting here in the ceiling. So far, as it is right now, we have a bright spot down here uh, that draws the eye of the viewer. We have some light here in the foreground, but that is almost in complete darkness, okay? But before I do that, let me just go back to the Basics tab and just reduce that exposure very slightly. By the way, if you... Uh, want to have a finer control over the, the slider, just press down the shift key and move that slider and it's going to move in smaller increments, okay? So just a third of a stop all, uh, or thereabouts for the, um, for the overall brightness. Okay, so I was going to add a local adjustment brush to that image area there. And to do that, so I'm going to fill my preview area with this painting. I'm going to reduce the size of my brush, dial down the feather value, because now I'm going to try and uh, paint precisely on the inside. Now I have to raise the flow value here, obviously, just to make that work. I'm not going to be overly... Um, detailed here. I'm going to be a little bit sloppy just so that we can go on with the, the rest of the image. But basically what I'm trying to do is to, to bring out that painting, okay, to get it back into the image, so to speak, because right now it just, it just disappears in complete darkness. And that actually doesn't do justice to it. So, I'm going to start with a Basic increase in exposure, some contrast, and my computer is just a little bit sluggish here from all those adjustments actually. Raise, raise the saturation just a little bit. Okay, I think that's fine for a start. Now I don't want to illuminate it evenly. I want to create the impression that there is some kind of a light shining on it. So I'm going to take another radial adjustment here and put it right on the center, trying to match the perspective as before. And I'm going to put some brightness back into that center region. So, make it just a little bit bigger here. Okay, so that's the current image. And I think we already are doing quite nicely. So, we've uh, intelligently or smartly kind of toned down the, the uh, edges of the frame just to direct the, the attention of the viewer to those lower parts. And we added in the foreground just to add like uh, an additional element to our story and the painting up here. So I actually might go in here and um, into that painting, that adjustment brush and just decrease the exposure just a little bit. And then I might, might go into the uh, radial adjustment and increase the exposure just a little bit. Okay, so that we have like a nice transition from the inside of the image to the outside. Mm -hmm. 